Clanging metal and rainbow bubbles? Sign me up. Please welcome Samantha Yamin, better known as Science Sam. Hi! Hi. Thank you. Oh my gosh, welcome to the show. But before we jump into the experiments, you're a neuroscientist and a science communicator. Yes, I am. So <laughs> tell us, what does that mean? What do you do? So I'm a neuroscientist turned science communicator. Mm. I spent many, many, many years studying and researching in a lab. Mm. But science doesn't just take place in a lab. It's everywhere all around us all the time. Mm. So as a science communicator, I get to make it easier to reach, more accessible, so everyone can participate in the joy of science. I love that. Honestly, that's Too. why I got into baking at first when I was yeah. a kid, because I was so into science. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just science you get to eat. The most delicious science. Such delicious yes. science. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's amazing. OK, so what are you showing us today? OK, today we're going to uncover some of the hidden science behind something we interact with every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bubbles. Okay. And we're gonna do it using one of my favorite things to play with, dry ice. Ooh. Yes, so unlike the ice that we're used to, it's not made of water. Mm -hmm. This is actually the solid form of carbon dioxide. Oh. That's the same stuff we breathe out when we exhale. Mm like that, and that plants take in in order to, to grow, Okay. right? Another really cool thing about it, you can kind of tell from all this, um, it's very, very cold. Yeah, it looks really cold. Yeah, about four times colder than your freezer. Whoa. So it makes it really useful. You're trying to transport like ice cream or something. You don't want it to melt on the road. That'd be a tragedy. Yes. This is your insurance. Nice and cold. Okay, amazing. So it's very useful. Now I keep saying it's so cold, it's so cold. Let me show you. Okay. It's so cold it can make metal sink. Ooh. Okay, can you grab this spoon for me? Yes. Are we ready for some opera? I am. Okay, yes. three, yeah. two, one. one. Okay, it's more of a rattle. Can you hear <laughs> that? Sounds a little bit like me doing karaoke, but what's happening here is it's so cold, it's touching the metal, it's causing it to repeatedly contract, making vibrations. Vibrations is sound. That's what you're hearing. That is wild. Now, as beautiful as it is, uh, we can stop it. You can put it in this cylinder we have here. Okay. That is just water, room temperature water. Ooh. Oh, let's see. There you go. Ooh, oh, and now you ooh. see this fun smoky effect, right? Oh, that was thrilling. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it never gets old to me. I've seen it a thousand times, but I love this. Yeah. What's happening here to get this smoky effect, mm. it's in the name, dry ice. Mm. It's dry. So unlike regular ice, you put it in your drink, what happens? It waters your drink down. It melts, melts yeah. waters your drink. We hate that. Yeah, we do hate dry that. Dry ice doesn't melt. In fact, it's going straight from a solid that you saw me holding right into the gas form, and that gas coming off is what we're seeing. It's going, it's skipping a step, going straight from solid to gas, no water in between, cool. or no liquid in between. Yeah. And there's a fancy word for that process. Are we ready? Yeah. Sublimation. Ooh. It's sublime. Sublime. <laughs> yes. oh I don't know my. if that's where that comes from. Listen, we'll I'm going to pretend. We're, I'm going we're with going, it. We're going, this is sublime. OK, yeah. so sublimation, and now we're going to put that process to the test. Okay. It's time for bubbles. Okay, let's do okay, it. Okay, here we are. So I have two bowls here just of room temperature water. Again, nothing special. Mm -hmm. And in here we have a soap mix. Okay. Mary, I'm gonna get you to add some food coloring to these bowls just to make it more fun. I love it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna add dry ice and we're gonna get lots of sublimation happening. Perfect. I'm gonna put on my little glove. This stuff is really cold. It can give you frostbite pretty quickly. Oh, so goodness, okay, cool. We're gonna be safe. Okay, now we got lots of sublimation oh, going. Oh, this is excellent. It's looking good. It's yeah. looking like a real science lab. Yes. Or okay. a witch's cauldron. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little spooky. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now mm -hmm. is we're going to take these paper towels, dunk them. This is where we get a little messy. The best science always does. Amazing. Same with gonna, cooking. Yep. Yeah. We're going to make a little film across the lip of our bowls. This can take a few tries. Okay. Am I a scientist? Oh, you're putting me to shame, Mary. Oh! It's not magic. What's happening is that sublimation, the gas that's being produced as it changes states, mm -hmm. gas has a lot more energy. The particles are moving around. They're dancing around a lot. Yeah. That's why gases change shape. And a solid doesn't. It stays solid. Yeah. That's pushing on the bubble, and it makes it go up. Yeah. There's something else we can note here before it pops. Um, do you see this beautiful iridescent rainbow? It's stunning. Yes. yes. So if we think about the anatomy of a bubble, we can understand why the rainbow happens here. Mm -hmm. And anytime you see a rainbow in nature mm -hmm. or man-made or whatever. Yeah. Um, so what's happening is a bubble is like a sandwich. 
my favorite type of sandwich, a grilled cheese. Yes, delish. Okay, instead of bread, mm -hmm. you have two soapy layers. Okay. And instead of cheese, you have a thin layer of water. Right? Oh. So as this bubble is growing, it's like you're separating two halves of a grilled cheese. It could pop at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're separating those layers of grilled cheese. The water layer thins out. Yeah. And that water acts like a prism. When the light hits it, it scatters oh. out. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you really like this yeah. prism? Oh. It bends the light that hits it and you get that reflective rainbow. Same thing when you see a rainbow in the sky. Yeah. It's the water droplets and clouds and in the sky, bending light that hits it. It's like um, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd album The cover. cover. Okay, yeah. cool, right on. Same thing happening here. And when it pops, mm. it's like you pulled your grilled cheese too much. The cheese, the string, cheese inevitably breaks. breaks. It yes. does inevitably yeah. break, that's okay. Um, but there is a way to make it not pop. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna show you next. Um, actually, we're gonna get a few different ones going. Okay. Um, do you wanna make a bubble on top of that for me? I would love to. Let's okay. see if second time's the charm. <laughs> yeah, we're really putting you to the test. I I'll honestly, I love it. Okay, so there are a lot of recipes online for like pop-free bubbles and all that, and those work, they're great. Yeah. Um, so, but there's also a way that with any bubble mix, you can poke it and impress your friends without popping it. Okay. Now we'll do a quick, okay, that one broke, who cares? Okay. Let's do this one. Okay. All you gotta do is soap up your finger. Okay. Now the finger, uh, the surface tension of your finger matches the surface tension of the bubble. Okay. And when you poke it, it won't pop as long as you don't go past where it's wet. <gasps> there you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God, that's so fun. It's just like, instead of, <laughs> instead of poking a hole in your grilled cheese, you're adding some sauce, some surface tension. A little bit of ketchup. And there you go. You can show off with your friends, right? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this was an absolute <laughs> treat. Science Sam, what an absolute delight Thank this you. was. Thank you, for me. Thank you for showing us the science. This is amazing. Thank you. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.